What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve. Today, we're going to react to Season 2, Episode 8 of Rick and Morty. This one is titled Interdimensional Cable 2, Tempting Fate. Odd, I don't remember Interdimensional Cable Part 1. So this is probably another reference that I just don't get, a movie reference. Last week, we had a lot of Tiny Rick. That was really cool. I hope we get to see Tiny Rick again. I doubt we will because he killed him. So... Huh. Let's get into this one. Love and Rick and Morty, season two, episode eight, in three, two, one, go. Don't worry about Jerry, he's gonna be fine. Oh no. Ooh, watch out for that stuff. It'll stain if it gets on your clothes and it'll send you into a murderous rage if it gets in your eyes or mouth. It is in his eyes and mouth. Hello, I'm Dr. Glipglop. Ew. Oh. Every hospital claims to have the best doctor in the gal galaxy. It's like those pizza places that claim to have the best pizza in the world. <laughs> he makes a good point. That's the first time. Interdimensional cable two. What? Oh, okay. Oh, there was an episode where he found interdimensional cable, but that wasn't the title of the episode. I need to know that you understand that I have <laughs> what a couple is this? of eye holes. I do. Ew. Look at my eye holes. Oh my god. Uh. You have eight eye ho holes. I'm looking for oh, your eye holes. Oh, that's freaking There's nasty. Eye holes. <laughs> oh. 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 Be careful, Morty. If that guy catches oh. you with a box of his eye holes, he comes bursting in through a window and just starts <laughs> kicking the shit out of you. But where am I? Ah, he's looking Relax, a little Mr. better. Smith, you're in an alien hospital. I mean, to you, it's an alien hospital. To me, you're just in a hospital. In a hospital, yeah. Shrimply Pibble's life can be saved if we replace his heart with your human penis. <laughs> the configuration of veins, the ratio of thickness to <laughs> elasticity, the... Your genitals can be molded into a functioning uh, heart. The most would you save a life if you if you universe. had to give up your dick? What's up with her face? <laughs> is she a human or is she like Worf? You know Worf from Star Trek, how he has all that shit all over his face. <laughs> Morty, let's see what else is on, huh? Morty's okay. nuts. And now we're back to how did I get here? The only show Good that makes Lord. you ask yourself. How did I get here? How did I get here? Somebody help me, please! <laughs> That's literally... Uh, holy crap! Look, it's that lady with the shit on her face like Worf from Star Trek! <laughs> Morty, how did she get there? How did she get there? <laughs> Is that something we should be concerned about? Oh my god, that's so funny. Jan Michael Vincent! Is it important that we know who Jan Michael Vincent was <laughs> in order to get this? Nope. Oh. I feel like it's very important. <laughs> Can you take my temperature? Because I think I have Jan Quadrant Vincent fever over here. Because <laughs> I just realized I haven't run this whole decision past my wife. Oh, yeah. Do you think she'll be okay with this? Oh, I absolutely. don't think so. That was so so funny. Thank mm. you. You're welcome. Hey, um, that was guards, take him out. A Get terrible. Him Jesus him Christ! Audience. Kill him. Sick him. Demons. What the fudge? These guys, they want to completely remove my penis and use it as an alien's <laughs> heart, and we just need you to sign off on it. What do you people think you're doing? I understand your feelings, Mr. Smith. Oh, I don't think you do. Oh, give us a little my butt. husband in for emergency treatment. But on Earth, love comes first. I think there she saw something she likes. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> represents love between all life. If you want to keep your penis, you <laughs> should say out loud, I prefer to keep my penis. Well, Jerry, what kind of wife would I be if I did <laughs> anything to stand in your way? Ooh. Yeah. She wants one of those. We got... Tiny little, lasagna, little pizza, tiny pizza tiny little pie. ham, mm, little tiny fried, egg. tiny people, little bit. 
Oh my you god. Come on down. Little Eat some shit, you <laughs> What the fuck? Wait a minute. Oh, uh, Mr. Smith? Oh, yeah, just masturbating! I forgot to mention there are extensive medical. Oh, Lord. To confine your activities to the purely pornographic. Absolutely. Let me <laughs> pull his pants down. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Cooking Things. I'm Pykel Thompson. Hey, wait a minute, Rick. Same this guy. body is like sloping down and leaning off oh the Oh my lap. god, it's the same person connected. A little bit of this, I'm gonna cook a little bit of that. Oh, oh, oh. hey, stop tugging, Michael. Oh my god. That's crazy. F*** you, Pykel. You're a <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Good afternoon. From his march on Flirt Blurt Square to his ongoing <laughs> battle with heroin dependency. He's the best. <laughs> what? You realize heroin makes hmm. up 10% of the atmosphere on Shrimply Pibble's home planet. He can't live outside of it without breathing heroin. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this guy's trying to get out of giving away his penis. <laughs> <laughs> he sure is, and that... Backfired superbly. They cut the fleeb. This There's is out of control. In the way, the blamps rub against the chumbles. That leaves all of that to make that regular old plumbus. I always wondered how uh, oh plumbus is going. We get a one. The show space. is out of control. Three. Stay out of my personal space. Four. You know, I take personal space pretty seriously. Up to the point. Yeah, you sure do. I'm not even interested in having this skin oh, on my personal no. space. He's gonna rip oh, his skin off. Oh my god. What the f Oh my god, oh, dude. Oh, Gross! Oh, what an asshole. Oh. Nano scalpel. Nano scalpel. What the okay. Fuck? We're ready. Not so fast! Mr. Smith, what are you doing? I demand that you cut off my penis. Oh, and put it come in on, man's Jerry. Chest. That's not how it works. Where's Dad? Breaking news. Shrimply Pibbles is being held hostage by the human known as Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Smith. Remove my penis. Who gave him a gun? <laughs> That's not a gun. That's the XP 20 XS. That's the penis. <laughs> I'm a good what person. is wrong with him? <laughs> Holy shit, they use real bullets. Yeah, they're gonna have to get a new Jerry. Was it all a dream? No, you were shot like 50 times. Oh, okay. 57. Thankfully, you're in a super sophisticated alien hospital. All, all I wanted was for everyone to like me. Jerry, I like that subversion. That you left a comment underneath that YouTube video. And you can't make people like you. You just oh have to wait for Oh my god, I'm sorry. Them. No, you're right. <clears throat> I'd like to go to the zoo with my family. What? Uh, what are you talking about? That's a stupid idea. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Rick's cupboard shelf. I ho oh no. Don't take the eye holes. He's gonna come after you. Why do you even have those? <laughs> oh my god. Rick and Morty does some really creative shows. In episodes but sometimes they'll do something like this that is just what what was this writer's room like <laughs> there's nothing to really talk about in this episode it was just like wild and let's just do whatever the hell we want that's kind of like what i like about this show is that obviously it's science fiction um leaning heavily towards the fiction uh you know Obviously, you're not going to replace an alien's heart with a dick. I mean, well, I mean, we, we haven't met aliens, so you never know. But they could just do whatever they want. And as long as they keep 
like the personalities of the characters intact, like it works. Um, the whole interdimensional cable thing. So now I do remember we did get an episode where he was going to replace their cable box with the interdimensional one. So now I understand why this is called part two, even though that episode didn't have the same name, but it just gives them the freedom to basically do whatever they want, even though in Rick and Morty, they kind of do whatever they want. But when they do these episodes, like they just, you could just throw it out the window, make up words, just have people do rip their skin off, have an eyeball man come and beat you up. If you eat a cereal, like it's, it's wild. Um, Nothing really deep for me to go into this episode or really try to explain <laughs> or anything because it I'm kind of speechless. It, it was it was crazy. That's that's pretty much all I could say. This might be one of the shortest exits and outros of a Rick and Morty video because I don't know what I just watched, but it's actually pretty funny that the prosthetic penis that they were going to offer jerry one of them could be used as a gun as well i don't know i don't know all i know is that this was pretty hilarious and i i have nothing else to say it was just an uh, amazingly weird silly hilarious episode of rick and morty and that's all <laughs> there really is to it that's all i need this to be is to be silly stupid funny and make me laugh and it did so, I don't know. Was this like, actually, I'm kind of curious though now what some of your favorite episodes are and least favorite episodes. Um, starting with this one, I guess, was when this came out, did people like this episode? I think they probably did. Oh, the one thing I did want to mention in this that they did really well was subvert our expectation that it was just a dream because. As we know, tons of TV shows and movies will do that thing where something really bad happens and then someone wakes up and it was all a dream. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Here, I think it actually would have worked if they went that way. I wouldn't have felt let down because it was still funny and it's still Rick and Morty. But they kind of make it work in the fact that all right, how would he have survived that, right? They said he got shot like 57 times. So you think to yourself, you know, how would how would he survive that? But again, it makes sense. Earlier in the episode, they established that they were in like one of the greatest hospitals in the galaxy where they can pretty much fix anything. And then the whole plot of the episode is they're going to save a life by giving someone, replacing someone's heart with a penis, if they have the technology to do that, yeah, they have the technology to save someone who's been shot. And she said it was like <laughs> removing a splinter. So that's all the explanation I need. On that note, what did you think of this episode? What did you think of my reaction? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.